What does Tesla mean when it says we robot? We'll get into that. Stick around for more, including the new French AI robot with a fantastical backstory, India's plans to send its first humanoid into space, Tencent's new robot with unique mobility, and a fancy Japanese throwback. Tesla is expected to showcase its Robotaxi, a fully autonomous cab without pedals or a steering wheel, during its October 10th We Robot event. Along with the long-awaited Robotaxi, Tesla is also expected to showcase its advancements in full self-driving technology. The event's name strongly suggests at least an appearance by Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus. Tesla has a history of using events like this to unveil progress on its key technologies, and the robot is central to the EV automaker's future plans. Now, unlike, jo unlike Dojo, obviously that was not real. <laughs> uh, so Dojo is real, uh, the Tesla bot will be real. Elon Musk says he expects humanoid robots like Optimus to greatly outnumber people in the future. The number of robots on the planet versus humans. Yeah, I think the number of robots will vastly exceed the number of humans. Vastly, Could, yeah. Vastly okay. exceed. I mean, you have to say, like, who, who would not want their robot buddy? Everyone wants a robot buddy. Totally. Um, the event's name is a likely reference to Isaac Asimov's famous collection of interconnected short stories, iRobot. First published in 1950, the stories examine the ethical dilemmas that arise as humanoid robots integrate into human society. The book introduced the three laws of robotics, which, though fictional, continue to influence today's discussions on AI ethics. Somebody writing in an architectural journal pointed out that these laws hold for tools generally. Number one, a tool must be safe to use. And two, provided it is safe to use, it's got to do what you want it to do. And third, provided it is safe to use and it does what you want to, it's got to last. To paraphrase, they are, don't harm humans, obey humans, and protect yourself. In that order of priority. The 2004 movie starring Will Smith was loosely inspired by the collection. It references the laws of robotics heavily, but it presents an original storyline about a detective investigating a robot's involvement in a homicide. The movie is more relevant than ever thanks to advanced AI robots inching toward mass production. As for the Tesla event's name, it could imply a future where robots and humans work together harmoniously. It could also signify the unification of Tesla's autonomous systems, with robots and vehicles working together as one. Or both. Tesla recently posted this photo of an Optimus robot holding a 4680 battery cell. It was to commemorate the manufacturer's 100 millionth cell produced. Tesla doubled its output in just three months after reaching 50 million cells in June. Musk recently said the Optimus will likely need three major iterations to reach a highly refined version. Tesla plans to manufacture a limited number of Tesla bots for internal use in 2025 with wider production in 2026. Musk expects the robot to reach a production scale of 1 million units per year within five to six years. Tesla is pushing the AI robot toward production as a growing array of companies race to corner the humanoid robot market. In the US, it's up against the likes of the Figure 02, Agility Robotics' Digit, Boston Dynamics' Atlas, and Sanctuary's Phoenix. One X Tech is also generating serious buzz with its Neo Robot, which the open AI-backed startup hopes to mass-produce for home use in the next few years. There's also an onslaught of advanced AI robots emerging from China like the Fourier GR1 and GR2, the Xpeng PX5, the Xiaomi Cyber One, and Unitree's H1 and G1. Enchanted Tools says it's ushering in the post-robot era with Mirakai. The French startup was founded by Jerome Menceau, who previously helped create social robots Pepper and Now. And I have been building robots, humanoid robots, for, more, uh, for almost 20 years. And when I look at existing robots, I feel that we do not realize um, how lucky our generation is to be the one that will bring humanoid robots to reality. Mirakai is now being trained at Accenture. The global tech consulting giant's robotics team is exploring how to integrate the AI robot into computer systems across industries. Mirakai moves using a special rolling globe system, which the company says makes it ideal for hospitals, hotels, and airports. 
Standing 1.3 meters, the robot weighs around 30 kilos or 66 pounds. It's equipped with two RGBD cameras, two infrared cameras, 12 time of flight cameras, six ultrasound sensors, four microphones, and dual CPUs and GPUs. Mirakai's arms have 28 degrees of freedom. Its battery stays charged for about eight hours. The robots come with a backstory that's quite elaborate. The Mirakai are a species from space, dating back to ancient times, created to help humans think more about understanding others. They inspire through their creativity. They're extremely tech-savvy, wise, and kind, guiding humans to connect better with others and grow as people. The company worked with French film studio Gaumont to bring the story to life with animation. Vilmitra will soon become India's first humanoid robot in space. The Indian Space Research Organization developed the robot to simulate human functions and assist astronauts during the Gaganyaan mission. The robot will join the first uncrewed three-day test flight of the Gaganyaan mission, aiming to send Indian astronauts into space. Vilmitra is a half-humanoid with only an upper body. It can talk, issue alerts, and monitor the spacecraft to ensure safety. The robot speaks Hindi and English. The name Vyomitra means friend in the sky, with Vyoma meaning space in Sanskrit. The ISRO recently finalized the 800-gram skull's design. According to India Express, the skull is built from a super strong and lightweight aluminum alloy. The mission is India's first attempt to send people into space using a spacecraft built entirely in India by ISRO. During the three-day mission, the Vyomitra will be evaluated to see how well it can perform tasks monitor the spacecraft, and interact with systems. The test flight is scheduled for December 2024. Tencent's new robot has options for getting around. The Chinese tech giant's Robotics X Lab just introduced its new hybrid robot called the Five or Xiaowu. Its leg wheel design switches between walking upright and using wheels, depending on the terrain and speed needed. The fifth-generation robot is meant to work in places where people live like homes and elderly care facilities. It uses its legs to walk at a slow pace and uses its wheels for faster mobility. It also folds itself into a compact position when necessary. The robot senses and interacts with objects with its large area tactile skin. Tencent says the robot's safety features ensure safe interactions between people and robots in real-world settings. Its ability to switch movement modes, adapt to environments, and perform complex tasks shows Tencent's focus on building robots that easily fit into daily life. Tencent is known for its wide range of offerings in social media, entertainment, and gaming. Its influence has grown as it's expanded into areas like cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and financial services. Tencent formally entered robotics in 2018 with the establishment of its X-Lab, the first-generation robot, Max, was introduced in 2021. The quadrupedal robot could walk, run, jump, and navigate obstacles like a dog. With its leg-wheel hybrid system, Max could glide over flat surfaces and perform advanced maneuvers. The second iteration of Max was introduced the following year, with reinforcement learning and pre-training models added. The updates made Max more autonomous, capable of parkour-style movements and advanced obstacle navigation. Tencent's third-generation robot, Ali, could perform complex tasks like 360-degree flips and adjusted its height to stabilize itself on uneven ground. Fourth-generation iterations focused on improving AI and autonomous control. Tencent also holds a significant minority stake in UB Tech. The leading Chinese robotics company has been making strides in industrial humanoid robotics. Its Walker S and Walker S Lite robots have recently been deployed in places like the Fa Volkswagen factory in Qingdao and Seeker's 5G Smart Factory. With rising investments in robotics, more humanoid robots are emerging with advanced navigation capabilities. Similarly, Pudu Robotics just unveiled its Pudu D7 semi-humanoid robot that can press elevator buttons, choose the correct floor, and ride an elevator on its own. The AI robot has a human-like upper body with bionic arms. It can move in all directions with its omnidirectional chassis. It's designed for hotels and hospitals to deliver items across floors using elevators autonomously. 
China-based Pudu says the robot can lift up to 10 kilograms. It works continuously for over eight hours. Pudu Robotics was founded in 2016. Since then, the company has become a leading player in the service robotics industry. Its robots are already in use across various industries, including hospitality, healthcare, and retail. The company has deployed over 80,000 robots in more than 60 countries. With the HRP4C, the humanoid robotics project went from rugged to fancy. The HRP4C gained significant attention with its lifelike appearance in 2009. Meet HRP4C, Japan's first humanoid female robot. She's making her debut at Japan Fashion Week. At 43 kilos, HRP4C is trying to look like a supermodel. Her creator, Shuji Kashita, says she's one of a kind. We believe this is Japan's and perhaps the world's first humanoid robot to walk on two feet and resemble the average body type of a young Japanese woman. Nicknamed the Cybernetic Human, the humanoid robot was engineered for use in entertainment and fashion. The HRP4C stood 1.6 meters. Its face mimicked human mannerisms with movable eyes, lips, and eyebrows. Eight motors in its face enabled it to smile, act surprised, and express sadness. While the HRP4C lagged behind other humanoids in bipedal locomotion, it excelled at striking a pose. The robot became a popular figure in fashion shows and exhibitions. It had voice recognition and spoke pre-programmed responses. Hi, uh, so let's uh, sing a song. With the HRP4C, Japan earned recognition for its robotics innovations with a much wider audience. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.